1 Kings chapter 19 verse 16 and 19 to 21. Then Elisha left and followed Elijah as his attendant. The Lord said to Elijah, You shall anoint Elisha, son of Shaphat of Abel Meholah, as prophet to succeed you. Elijah set out and came upon Elisha, son of Shaphat, as he was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen. He was following the twelve. Elijah went over to him and threw his cloak over him. Elisha left the oxen, ran after Elijah, and said, Please, let me kiss my father and mother goodbye, and I will follow you. Elijah answered, Go back. Have I done anything to you? Elisha left him, and taking the yoke of oxen, slaughtered them. He used the plowing equipment for fuel to boil their flesh, and gave it to his people to eat. Then Elisha left and followed Elijah as his attendant. Elijah's life as a prophet was nearly over. Elijah was persecuted by Ahab. He escapes to the wilderness. God then tells him to go to Zarephath, where he is to live in the house of a widow whose flour and oil jars are miraculously kept full, thus supporting the widow, her son, and Elijah. He then returns, and meets with his persecutor Ahab. He challenges the power of the pagan god Baal's priests and then slays them for their arrogance and pride because their god has proven inferior to the real god. Again he is forced to return to the wilderness to avoid being persecuted by Ahab's wife Jezebel, a Baal supporter. He fasted for forty days and as you might expect, became dejected and irritable. He then flees to the wilderness of Damascus and is directed to anoint Hazel king over Syria, Jehu king over Israel and Elisha to be a prophet who will replace him. As you can see the life of a prophet is not to be desired by a weak person unwilling to live in faith while doing God's work in a fallen world. The cloak was the most important article of clothing a person could own. It was used as protection against the weather, as bedding, as a place to sit, and as luggage. It could be given as a pledge for a debt or torn into pieces to show grief. Elijah put his cloak on Elisha's shoulders to show that he would become Elijah's successor. Later, when the transfer of authority was complete, Elijah left his cloak for Elisha. A yoke of oxen were animals used to plow and pull wagons or carts. Rather than let the animals go to waste he cooked them over a fire of the yokes which bound them together for work. When Elisha killed them it was an act showing his total commitment to Elijah because he could no longer use the oxen or yoke to plow and had separated himself from the things valued in the world. In this act we see Elisha's total commitment to follow a man of God. For Elisha there was no going back to a worldly life. A prophet is one who speaks for God. In modern use, a prophet is one who foretells the future, but that is only one aspect of the biblical prophet's mission. Prophecy is a charism, a special gift of grace from the Holy Spirit received for the benefit of the community.